and welcome to another episode of FUBAR. Today, I want to show you a cool resource. Whenever you ask me, do you have this in Python? Do you have this in Java? Do you have this for CDK? Do you have this for some? I found the answer to all your questions. And this is called the serverless land patterns. Serverless Land is one of the websites that the serverless developer advocates my team maintain. And there we have crowdsourced and use open source and everybody can participate collecting and creating a list of patterns. So in this video, I want to show you how you can access these patterns and how you can publish your own. But a first question for you all out there. Have you heard about serverless land? Have you been in that website? Have you used the pattern? Let me know in the comment box below. And that you are around the comment area, don't forget to give a like to this video. So in the serverless land page, you can find all kinds of information related to serverless. And this is a page that basically you can use as a landing page. We will put all the latest news, the blogs, and So the serverless land page, it's a place full of drilling neighbors. So the serverless land page is a landing page where you can find all the latest news, all the blogs written about serverless from the uh, AWS employees and also the patterns. So let's go to the screen before the neighbor that is drilling continues drilling and I can show you this. So. When you open serverlessland.com, you will find this nice web page. And the first thing you need to do is click on the patterns because that's where we want to go there today. And when it opens that there, you can uh, do a nice filtering. And here you will find patterns of all kinds of things like CDK, SAM serverless framework and Terraform. So whenever you ask me if this is available in SAM or in CDK or in serverless framework or in Terraform, now you have a place where to go and search. Also, it you can filter by languages. This is like the patterns can be written in any kind of languages and they're all here. So you can uh, filter for that and you can filter on services. So this is good. For example, let's do some node and let's see what comes up. So here you can see all the different patterns that have written in some and node. And these are patterns that are built by different people, like normal community members, like you are watching AWS employees and also the serverless team. But it's the idea here is that it's written by common folks that are building serverless applications and want to share these patterns. And the idea in these patterns is not like you use them standalone. It's like you start looking at them as you do with my code that you download my uh, GitHub repos and you might copy and paste different parts of the application. So you learn how to use the different best practices of infrastructure as code. So we can open some of these and see it in action. So for example, this Dynamo to Kinesis sounds very interesting. So I click on view pattern. And the first thing we can see is a nice diagram that shows us from which service to what service is interacting. And the idea here of the patterns that they are simple. It's not like it's full blown application, but it's one or two services talking to each other and doing common things. So in this case, when we uh, change something in Dynamo, we want to publish the changes to Kinesis. That's a common pattern. So somebody has built that. And then this is a SAM, so you can see the SAM template right away in the screen and you can basically just copy paste it if you want and start using it. That's one way. You just copy paste and you, you can see here that there's the definition of the Kinesis stream and the Dynamo table and then the, the Kinesis stream specification that is sending there. So that's good. Also, uh, you can see who wrote that. And this case is Rohan Mehta and it's someone from AWS, but there is community members as well. And you can see in the side here how to download it, how to deploy it, how to test it, how to clean it, and then different resources on where you can find more information about this pattern. You can also click here and visit the GitHub repo for this page. And here you will find the, the instructions on how to deploy again, how to clean and how everything works. So uh, you can go to the template YAML and you will see what was in the, in the page. If there is some Lambda function, you can see the Lambda function in there. Here there is a event example for you to test. So everything is in this place for you to check it out. 
So this is the first thing I want to show you. So you can find uh, patterns again in any language, in any framework. So go and explore. And if you cannot find what you're looking for and you want to build your own, you can do that. So to do that, it's very easy. Just click on submit a pattern. You don't need to register anywhere. Well, you need to register to GitHub. But basically what you need to do is to uh, submit a new pattern. You write this issue and you follow these uh, steps. So you will get a kind of a thing to clone and to work with. And then you basically upload it and you create a pull request again, this repo and somebody from our team will review it. It can be me. It can be any of the developer advocates and we will review it and we will check if this is good. In general, most of the patterns are quite good. If we have some feedback, we will put it in the issue or in the pull request and then you fix it and then you're ready to go. And that gets published with your name in the, uh, so here you can see somebody, serverless enthusiast, it gets published with your name in the uh, website as well as in the GitHub repo that you can find all the patterns in AWS sample serverless patterns. You can see all the patterns here, they're all available and there is um, everything that is shown in the website. So it's nicer to navigate through the website than through the webs, but you can see all the contributors here and it can be your name. So that's it for me today. This is a short video, but I wanted to show you this because I get in every video, can you show me how to do this in Python? How you show me how to do this? Why you don't use this anymore? Why are you like, well, I hope this help you out to self-serve the answers to your questions uh, and also to discover new patterns and to discover best practices for your application so you can keep on building in serverless. So thank you and I see you in another episode of Uber. Ciao, ciao!